So using some thin twisted pair telephone jumper cable, I've put out a, a longer loop today. Uh, this is 29 feet long by 27 and a half feet wide. That's the nearly the width of the full garden. Uh, so that's as big as I can fit in in terms of a, a, a near enough square. Uh, so that's 113 feet long. If you remember the original loop was 15 feet square, so 60 feet long. And I put connectors on both pairs uh, so I could try the option of joining them together. And this is how both loops look. The uh, larger one you can see in red uh, and the original 15 foot square is in blue. And just in case there were any common mode currents at play, I tried a one-to-one -one choking line in all the tests and it made no difference whatsoever. 
So my conclusion after all this is that the antenna is useful to have for listening on 80 meters. It's not that good on top band of 40 meters. Although as you saw in that quite impressive test, I thought the uh, removing that noise on 40 meters was something worth having uh, up your sleeve when you need it. Uh, so uh, I even tried uh, in one of the tests is cross wiring the two twisted pair. So I had the, the blue and the yellow wires uh, crossed uh, on the two terminals but that actually killed the, the antenna dead so that didn't work there wasn't any magical find there um, so uh, size wise 15 feet to 29 feet I think anywhere in that range uh, seems to work uh, the bigger the antenna the more the background noise so you can fit one into your your garden depending on what what room you've got uh, is it worth me drilling a hole in the wall for another antenna feed i think it is actually uh, just to have that uh, up my sleeve for 80 meters just making uh, uh, qso's more copyable and a useful uh, uh, qrn remover uh, when needed anyway hope you found these uh, videos useful